Good evening. My name is Tom. All right. All right. Now, earlier we had a stand-up comic up here, uh, and I tried that once. And I tried it twice. And I found it wasn't really my thing. It wasn't my scene. I couldn't uh, quite hang with that. I decided I needed some sort of gimmick or something, but I, I couldn't identify what it was. So, so months later, uh, I joined a, a figure drawing group up in Delaware, and you know, we draw uh, from models, from nude models, and that's when, that's when it hit me. That's my, that's my gimmick. I will be a comic nude model. <laughs> I mean, it hasn't been done. So I, I set out on this new uh, intended career path as a comic nude model. And, and really, uh, I, I knew I had a lot of material to work with. But when you're a nude model, it's really uh, a comic nude model. It's really about the, the props. You can do a lot with props. So, for example, you just stand there with an umbrella and your hand out, and you hold that pose for five, ten, fifteen minutes. But just imagining somebody completely naked in a normal everyday situation. That's really the trick. And, and after a while, you have to up your game a little bit. Some, some costume, more props. You, know, you have a, a little paint palette, a paintbrush, a curly wig, and you are the full Bob Ross. <laughs> so one night, I had this idea, and uh, I come out, and all the artists are there, and I got down on my knees, and I got a little cane, and I put on uh, my son's Yoda mask, and I decided I'm going to be Yoda. Nude Yoda. <laughs> so this is a 10-minute pose, and about 10 seconds in, I realize this is a child's Halloween mask. The mouth hole is not very big, and I can't breathe. <laughs> Sweat is streaming down my chest from under the mask. This was not in any of the Star Wars films. <laughs> but then I realized something doing that, because you're in a pose, you start a pose, and you have to hold it, because you've got all these artists surrounding you that are, that are depending on you now to hold this pose, because if you break the pose, that's the end of their drawing. they got to start over, and it's a waste of their time. And so whenever you're doing anything, you need to identify who those people are around you. For me, it was the artists that were drawing. But it might be your friends, it might be your family. Who are the people that are depending on you? That when you start something, you have to finish it, <laughs> no matter what it is. <laughs> so I realized right then that whenever I'm starting anything in my life, I need to identify who those people are that are supporting me and what I'm doing. Everybody's got it. And you don't want to disappoint those people. And whether they start out as friends or family, they become friends and family. And so those artists around me, whenever I got into a particularly difficult pose and they could tell, they would say to me, at least you're not wearing that Yoda mask. <laughs> Thank you.